several relevant artificial intelligence and data science projects are illustrated in this video. All of these innovative projects were developed in order to contribute to the healthcare industry so as to provide technological solutions to the current global coronavirus pandemic situation. With research and development centers in Miami and Medellin, the mission is to provide solutions by applying our technology offerings to product development with emphasis in medical pulmonary ventilator systems such as the engineering prototype illustrated in this video. The need for smart ventilators is evident Patients with COD-19 present symptoms from lack of oxygen in their lung capacity. The best medical treatment is to assist the lung function with the electromechanical ventilation system. The BVM is a plastic balloon or plastic bag that can be manually compressed without having to perform mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. It is an easy and simple way to force air into the lungs. The challenge is how to manage the supply of oxygen into the patient's lung and managing the side effects caused by the electromechanical ventilation system, such as barotrauma. Alveoli allows to diffuse the blood in the lungs. They are tiny air sacs in the lungs that are in contact with the blood vessels to allow oxygen and carbon dioxide to diffuse between the blood and the lungs. These are very delicate pieces of tissue. Over expanding them will lead into inflammation. This is what is also known as barotrauma. The S barometer is an important feature to measure the airflow rate out of the BVM to calculate the amount and volume of air delivered, typically 200 milliliters of volume up to 750 milliliters. Here the smart microcontroller can measure and control the volume and the pressure parameters. The time base frequency of the system ranging from 5 to 30 breaths per minute. This is the mandatory breath. At this point the patient must be heavily sedated. The machine needs to trigger the breath cycles and ending the breath cycle as well. The embedded CPU will detect and control the breath trigger and timing. There are a multitude of other design parameters and considerations that are need to be taken uh, into perspective. The neuromorphic embedded microprocessor allows the implementation of sophisticated signal processing of the to a better measurement, accuracy and better rejection of noise and artifacts. It also 
deals with the generation of new information by appropriately computing and integrating several variables. These variables expanded information that can be used by the ventilator to optimize the ventilation parameters. The ventilator paradigm is controlled by a sophisticated neuromorphic embedded system to allow exact adaptation of pressure and flow characteristics. Fine-tuned vent ventilator settings also serve to make ventilation more, more tolerable and comfortable. The artificial intelligence microprocessor pressure ventilator consists of a compressible air reservoir. Air and oxygen supplies a set of valves and tubes and a disposable patient circuit. The air reservoir is pneumatically compressed several times a minute to deliver room air. An air oxygen mixture of to the patient. The ventilator with a flow valve adjusting pressure to meet patient specific parameters. When over pressure is released, the patient will exhale passively due to the lungs elasticity. The exhausted air being released usually through a one-way valve within the uh, patient circuit called the patient manifold. The software platform consists of complex mathematical algorithms and sophisticated software models. Many of these models are developed with Python and C++. The main objective is to provide the control environment for the motor and sensory segments. Here I will illustrate an engineering alpha test model of the proposed ventilator system. Non-invasive methods such as continuous passive airways pressure and non-invasive ventilation which are adequate for patients who require ventilator only while sleeping and resting. Mainly employ the nasal mask. The system firmware is also integrated in memory. Here I illustrate the analog circuits. The body motion analog stage feeds to a second order high pass filter to pass a pure AC signal without DC components. We use a low pass filter to increase amplitude of the heartbeat signal and to compress the high frequency noise of the system. The technique of pulse oximetry is based on two principles. First, the color of blood, which depends on oxygen saturation. It is determined using two wavelengths, red and infrared spectrophotometry. And second, the amount of arterial blood in tissue 
due to changes during pulsation. To determine the arterial oxygen saturation, the pulsation of the arterial blood flow is used. Body motion feeds to a second order high pass filter to pass pure AC signals without DC components. We use a low pass filter to increase amplitude of the heartbeat signal and to compress the high frequency noise of the system as well as the disturbance from the environment. Red over infrared measures the differential optical densities. Utilizing the optical density ratio and arterial oxygen saturation SPO2 as well as the disturbance from the environment. Plus a high pass filter and a low pass filter in order to reduce noise. A comparator stage is used with intrinsic hysteresis to change the analog AC signal to a digital signal. The digital reference platform is integrated by sophisticated mathematical and artificial intelligence algorithms and software models. The digital blood oxygenation unit EKG measures your heart rate cardiovascular rhythm. The EKG unit has an automatic pulse reading, small size digital readout. Here I illustrate how the infrared sensor detects the amount of blood and the oxygenated sample from your finger. The system finally will produce an accurate readout of your heart rate as you can view in this video presentation. Here I show the port connectivity between the EKG system and the infrared sensor and detector.